Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator, where we just finished up conquering a little bit of territory from our Vernia up here, and that does mean that we need a couple of governors, so we're just going to put in whoever the highest ranking oligarch is here. It'll be this Bedona for this one, and then it will be... So many Democrats. I actually don't care that much about Democrats, do I? You know, I, I really kind of don't. We can always just revoke territory. We'll put in this guy. Excellent. Now, he should definitely be on religious conversion. And same with the guy up here, actually. I wish... Honestly, I wish that this was province-wide. Or, well... I wish it was for the, the governor's whole territory. At least in cases like this. It's absolutely not. Now, these are going to rebel. I'm okay with that. In fact, they may not rebel before the end of the game. Which is in, like, 14 years. So, that's a thing. We're going to go ahead and work on some of these missions, though, while we wait for our AE to go down. And I'm not entirely sure how the timing is going to work out for this. That might have been our last war, or I might declare one final war before the end here, but we're definitely getting close to the end. So Punic Settlement is going to take some time because we need to finish up our prospecting first. So the first thing we need to do is definitely work on Mer Merchant of Torresia. Which, Teresia is over here. Right. So, it's like right here. And for that, we need... Let's see here. Two libraries here. Okay. That's something we can do. What else do we need? So, that'll get us Merchant of Teresia. For Granary, we're going to need this location to have two Granary buildings. I'm going to take out a library and put in two Granaries. There we go. And that then means that this mission is done, this mission is done. Port markets is what we're going to need next. So we're going to need at least two markets in each of these ports. Now Genoa is still promoting to a city, but we can put markets in over here. I'm going to drop a library and put in a marketplace there, and two libraries and two marketplaces there. Fantastic. Now that's not done done, but it's close. Actually, build time reduction? Yes, that is something that I'm interested in right now. Fantastic. So, with that done, well, not done done, but kinda done, we're gonna need an aqueduct and a granary up here. I'm going to put in a religious endowment for sure. And then I think we're going to drop a court of law here and put in an aqueduct. And then we're going to need a granary. We'll do that after the religious endowment is done. That should be fine. And we're going to need a foundry down here. We can drop an additional library and put in a foundry. That'll be okay. I am noticing that these missions are pretty samey. There's no doubt about that one. But I think that is some decent progress on this. It's not done done because we need Genoa, of course, to get itself fortified and have two markets. But otherwise, I think that's everything that we need here. Well, almost everything, other than, of course, the granary over here. But the religious endowments here are almost done. And you know what? We definitely need to get these guys out of here. Let's take them to here. These guys, they're going to come on down to the coast somewhere where they're ideally not taking attrition. I mean, it's uh, pretty snowy over here right now, but that's a location they could go to. These guys, I'm going to actually have them come over here. And these guys, they are going to come over here. And we're going to do some road building while we're waiting on some of this. Should be okay. Of course we should support this. I don't know what we're supporting, but I, I didn't even bother to read it. We're supporting it, whatever it is. Supporting it wholeheartedly, in fact. Okay, so, oh yeah, these guys. They can come down over here. Yes. So we're going to put these guys onto road build. They're going to make their way over this way and build up like that. And then they're going to come down over here and build into this road and build around like that. That should keep them busy for a little while. These guys, they are going to... I would like to have them build the road up along this river, like that. And then they can come down over here and build a road along this river, like so. 
kind of like that. And then loop that in there. Come up over here and maybe come up kind of like this. That could work. These guys, they're going to enter road build mode. They're going to connect in over here. And they're just going to build along this side of this river. Like that. That'll keep them busy for a little while. But not particularly long. That's okay. We don't need them busy forever. So this prospecting is going to be finishing up right now, in fact, in theory. Yes, it did indeed finish. So we're going to start working on the Punic settlement over here. And that should be absolutely fine. I do want to check up here. We need to queue up a granary. That'll be okay. This local investment will be done now. So we'll queue in a granary. Perfect. I believe that's everything built that we need. We are going to need to import wood over here, of course. And that is something that we can do. There we go. Fantastic. So that's wood imported over there. And now we're mostly just waiting. So Genoa is... Are you currently a city? Yes, you are. Uh, yeah, commanders do like bribes. That is true. Actually, you're not a city yet. So that'll be in about a year that that becomes a city. That's fine. Okay, these guys are just chilling, and we're going to set them to drilling instead. Perfect. These guys are slowly making their way over. That's fine. Yeah, we will definitely accept those freemen. We really don't care about our manpower. Like, we have so much manpower, it's insane. We're going to go ahead and build a road with these guys, and we're going to build it right along this coast, like so. And then we'll evaluate after they're done. Fantastic. So, of course, we're going to need to build multiple structures in Genoa as well, as soon as it becomes a city here. The head of the Bodenid family just died, and we'll put somebody else in here. Honestly, we'll put this guy in. I really don't think I care about whether it's Democrats or oligarchs. We can handle both of them. I mean, Democrats are just a little bit more annoying with the amount of tyranny we've built up. But in reality, I would probably play it a little bit differently in the future. So these guys are still building their roads. That's fine. These guys have finished up this road. I think that these guys are pretty much done. And we're just going to send them somewhere where they don't take attrition. Perhaps up here? No, they take attrition. Uh, this is only 0.84%. It should be fine. Are they on road build? Yes, they are. They can stop that. <laughs> it is unnecessary. Actually, do we want them to build a road through there? Maybe we do. That's not a terrible road. Okay. <laughs> we'll do it. Wonderful. Okay, Genoa, are you a city yet? No. Gonna be a little while still on that one, unfortunately. Granary has been built up here, so we are completely good to go on Torasia here. Ah, we can do the Granary of Cisalpine Gaul. We'll definitely do that. Fantastic. The reason I go for that is because this is a permanent bonus and Bread and Circuses is a temporary one. Technically, at this point in the game, we're better off doing Bread and Circuses, but I usually like to go for the long-term things, at, even when we're close to the end of the game, for, for role-playing purposes. I just prefer it. So that is fantastic. We're going to start a, a fortress construction here as soon as we can on 17 March 715. Of course... Now that we are rolling around to 715, we've only got about 12 years left in this game, and I am committing to next episode being the final episode in this particular series. I feel like Carthage is very prosperous. Like, look at all this money, and I've not even optimized for our money. Like, we're putting so much cash right now into fort maintenance. It's insane. And army maintenance as well. Like, we're just sitting on increased pay because we're just fine. I've barely done anything here. Like, we don't have any worries about cash right now. Tons and tons of prosperity. So that is great. These guys are finishing up over here. Once these guys finish here, I think we're going to have them come over here and build a road kind of like this. 
And once again, this road construction, this is long-term thinking that we probably don't need because the game's going to end in 12 years, but I'm still going to do it. So we need a fortress here for sure. What else do we need here? Um, we're going to need at least two markets in these ports. Sure. We'll go ahead and do that. Fantastic. Teresia is now a city of brick. That's nice. So we can go ahead and do Merchant of Teresia now. Fantastic. Now we cannot do Growth of Teresia because we need the port markets done first. But those will be done relatively soon. Just a couple of years on that in total. Okay, that guy died. We'll assign a new one in. Interesting. Okay. This guy died as well. We'll assign a new one in. Sure. Sounds fine to me. These guys have finished up. We're just going to have them come over here and start drilling. That'll be fine. And once they arrive there, we'll just drill them. So we'll do something along the lines of that. Fantastic. I think these guys are pretty much done with their road build as well. Let's move them ideally somewhere where they won't take attrition. But uh, there's not a lot of those places. We're starting to get to some pretty decent size here. Yeah, all the way down onto the Iberian Peninsula. Okay, well, that's fine. With our roads, they'll get there relatively quickly. I mean, our roads are not, you know, completely ideal, but they'll do. They will definitely do. These guys are drilling, and as far as this up here goes, we're going to have them connect in over here for sure, and then come on in over this way, and then from there, they'll come back and create a triangle there, and then come up over here, create a triangle there, and then maybe something kind of like that. And while we're at it, that. Yeah, that should do. That'll keep them busy for a little bit. Fantastic. Our aggressive expansion is coming down decently. But we don't exactly care too much about our AE at this point, in all honesty. What we're mostly caring about right now is getting this fortress built. This fortress will, of course, finish up the Sinus Genuit. Genuensis is what I'm going to go with. Sinus Genuensis trade. And that will, of course, enable port markets, but we're going to need to finish two markets in Genoa before we can finish that. And then we'll grab the shipyards, growth of Teresia, and I think we'll just skip constructing the flagships. Like, I, I don't know that we actually care about that mega galley. Right now, anyway. It's 185 days that we could be spending on something else, right? <laughs> Okay, what are these guys up to? They're just marching. They're almost to their destination already. See how quickly they move around? I like it. We'll set them to drilling. That is absolutely perfect. And our road construction over here is looking reasonable. Should be completely fine. These guys will finish up soon. Hey, they're building slave estates. Good for them. So our foundry over here is finishing up very shortly, 25 January 716. That's great. And this fortress, 14 October of this year. Okay. And there's that foundry finished up. All good. So we'll be able to finish all of this up very, very shortly. In the meantime, I am thinking about fighting like these guys. Who are they allied with? Actually, yeah, this would be a pretty good one to fabricate on. We'll go ahead and do that. Are these guys allied? Yes, but their ally won't exist anymore. We'll fabricate a claim on them as well, and maybe rope them into the same war. And then there's these guys. Who are they allied with? Vernia. Oh, they're allied with the other big boys. Okay, that's definitely going to be a more in-depth war, and that's probably something that we're not going to have time for, considering we only have ten and a half years here. So I'm going to start moving up into position for this triple war over here. We'll move these guys in. Excellent. And these guys are already pretty much in position. 
we can move them, say, over here. And we'll finish up this road. They can definitely continue working on that. They'll get that done pretty quickly, probably before we have these claims finished up, although those are going quick. And we're almost certainly going to fight all, th all three of these here, but I don't think that we want to fight Avernia, Latabrigia, and Sequania with this little time left in the game. Like, that's probably going to be a pretty long-term war, and I don't want the game to end while we're in the middle of it. So, I mean, I'm not saying that I don't think we can win that. I absolutely think we can win that. I'm just saying it might take a while. And that's something that we do need to factor in right now. This road construction over here is another thing that might take a while, but honestly, I don't think we necessarily need that army. We'll set these guys who have arrived at their designated locations to drilling. And in fact, I'm going to have these guys come over here instead. These guys are going to come up here, these guys in here, and these two up here. It should be fine. Wonderful. How are things going over here? Okay. That fortress will be done very soon, to be sure. We may have time to do another mission or two, but I, I don't know. We'll have to see. Um... No, build a foundry instead, please. Thank you. Okay, we can go ahead and finish this. Of course, our markets have started constructing. Those do construct much more quickly than fortresses do. So we should have that done within a year. And that's great. That will finish up our port markets. Our shipyards are already good to go. And then growth of Teresia. And I think we skip the construct flagship and just finish the mission as soon as that's done. Wonderful. We do have a civil war brewing. I mean, what else is new? It's just Balhano Hanid. Just this guy. I'm just going to bribe him. It's not like we're short on political influence right now. Sure. I mean, we've stabilized nicely. There's no doubt about that. And, I mean, we've blobbed extremely well. But honestly, I think the reason why I've been feeling like... I, I've kind of been spinning my wheels, like I said in the last episode. I think the reason for that is because Rome flamed out so early. Like, they attacked us with that really wacky CB, and we just annexed the whole thing. And then after that, there's very little challenge. I mean, we could have attacked Thrace or Egypt if I was seeking challenge, but that's not the smart move, and I usually try to go for the... Semi-smart move, anyway. If not the absolute smartest move. I mean, expanding up into Europe was definitely the right call, especially given our missions over here. And then from there, I was just like, we can always go up this way rather than dealing with the big boys. And I don't know, maybe that was, maybe that's the problem. It's just that Rome didn't do their job. They didn't check us the way they were supposed to. Get these guys drilling. And these guys are actually done with their road construction. I'm going to have them come down to, say, here. And I think they'll get there in time, in fact. But I think this is going to be our final war here. Yeah, there's going to be this very, very ugly exclave. Not much we can do about that because there's just not enough time to fight all of this. It does make me sad. But at the same time, I won't mind a break from Imperator. I always feel this way. Whenever I get to the end of an Imperator game, I'm always a little bit relieved. And it's not because I dislike the game. It's just, it's a lot of work to manage the Empire in Imperator. A lot more than in, say, Crusader Kings or Europa or any of the others, really. It's just, Imperator focuses so much on the internal conflicts, right? And... I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just... I'm always a little relieved when I don't have to do that anymore. What's going on over here, huh? Barbarians? Get in there. We're gonna deal with them, barbs. Okay, Magna Grecia needs a governor. We'll put in this guy, and we can call down an omen. Obviously, we're gonna go for a tyranny reduction. And we will kill these barbarians. We'll cap this back quick. 
Actually, we don't need to cap this back, do we? Because it will automatically cap back if we stack wipe the barbarians. So I probably should have just gone directly over here. That's fine. Okay, barbarians have been defeated. We're going to come back over. Ten years left. More barbarians up here. Ten years left in this particular game, and we're going to head up and deal with these barbarians as well. I don't want to have to deal with them during the war. Next episode may be a bit of a longer one, but I often like to do like a, a double episode finale if it's going to end on a uh, nice, nice round number, preferably a multiple of 10. <laughs> or a power of two. A power of two is a good ending number too. Okay, so we'll cap this and we'll head in over here. And we do now have our claims, so that's great. We'll just deal with those barbs and we'll move into position and declare this war. These wars, technically. This is going to be two wars. So we'll just wait for that army to get into position and we will go ahead and declare this right about now. So we're going to declare on these guys, and oh, hello, they're calling in more than I expected. They're actually calling in everybody over here. This is almost perfect, except I'm a little concerned about actually having the war score to get all of this. I would like to, but yeah, we'll accept this. This is only going to be the one. They made additional allies. That's fine. We're just going to move up to here to attack, and then we're going to move into here. These guys... They're going to move up to here and begin sieging. These guys are going to move into here and begin sieging. These guys are going to move into here and begin sieging. Sounds good to me. So we're going to wrap this all up. And this is kind of perfect. It's going to take this territory over here. In theory, all the way up here, we're going to get rid of all of this ugly border core over here for sure. So I think that's okay. We're going to come over here and see about stack wiping these mercs. That would be ideal for us. And we're going to get these sieges done pretty quickly here. I think. We shouldn't have too much difficulty with this war, in all honesty. We don't need to cap this. All I'm interested in is fighting these mercs. So we're going to do so. Additional mercs coming in over here. We're not surprised by this, of course. We're going to come down there and see about pursuing them. A foreigner has arrived, and it's a baby. I don't know why I'm being informed of this, but okay. Okay, we won this siege. Perfect. We're going to come up and take this capital location. We're no longer importing wood. Sure. And we won this siege down here. We're going to come down to this capital lo location. Stap stack wipe, rather. Their little army there. No concerns. Yep. Fantastic. We'll cap that. And we won this siege. We're going to come over here and begin sieging. We're done over here. So these guys are going to come up over this way. That'll be fine. They're hiring in more and more mercs. We do need a governor over here, and we'll just put this guy in. I don't exactly care. The Civil War is slightly irritating, to be sure. We'll just bribe this guy. I'm not, I'm not sure what he wanted out of me, but uh, that'll do. <laughs> We're going to come up over this way. Actually, no, we're not. We're already there. We're going to come up over this way. Perfect. The first Saba of Africa needs a leader here. So we will put in this guy and that'll be fine. Excellent. I do see these mercs over here being jerks. Yep. That's fine. We'll cap this. We won this battle. That's not surprising. We're going to attack this Merc Force. This is a Merc Force as well. So, I mean, we're not too concerned about these Merc Forces, right? This is not particularly threatening to us. Apparently, we don't have a way to get up here. And that's fair enough, because we have to go through this fort to get there. Okay, these guys, they are going to come up here and cap that. These guys are going to come up here. Actually, we're going to come over here and fight these. That will be fine. We'll put this guy in. Excellent. So yeah, we'll fight those forces if we can. This is no problem. 
We'll get some auto capping going on there. Excellent. Yeah, absolutely no issues here. Their mercs are crumbling before our professional forces. We don't need to be over here anymore. We can push up to, I guess, over here. I mean, we kind of have an overkill number of troops over here, <laughs> to be completely honest. This choke point, that does hurt us. However, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode will be the end of this particular series. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time. Sure. Ha, ha, ha.